Thank you for joining us for Newsroom. I'm Victor Blackwell. Allison is off. We are beginning uh, today with this major pushback against President Biden and his new COVID mandates. The new vaccine rules will impact as many as 100 million Americans. We're talking federal workers, uh, federal contractors, health care staff, and employees of large companies. Now, Republican governors and lawmakers call the mandate government overreach, and they're vowing to challenge it in the courts. And today, the president was asked about how he would respond to those lawsuits. Have at it. Look, I am so um, disappointed that uh, particularly some of the Republican governors have been so cavalier with the health of these kids, so cavalier with the health of their communities. This is, this is, we're playing for real here. This isn't a game. And more than a third of adults in the U.S. are still not fully vaccinated, and it's the unvaccinated in large part who are overwhelming hospitals in some states. The country is now averaging more than 1,500 COVID deaths each day. That's up 9% from last week. CNN's Nick Watt has more. There are elected officials actively working to undermine the fight against COVID-19. So said the president, announcing sweeping vaccine mandates with a testing opt-out for millions of American workers and cue some of those elected officials he's talking about. Texas is already working to halt this paragraph, governor of Texas. This unconstitutional move is terrifying, governor of Mississippi. We will fight them to the gates of hell, governor of South Carolina. The majority of American workers support vaccine mandates in their workplace and yeah. here in Los Angeles. Yeah. Yeah, item passes. Thank you. Unanimity on the school board. Students 12 and up got to be fully vaccinated against COVID-19 by New Year's. Polio was ravaging Los Angeles as I was growing up. And you know what stopped it? Vaccinating every single student. This action is not about violating anybody's rights. This action is about doing our job to be able to offer public school so that children can come to school and be safe. Will it work? Well, up in San Francisco, 90% of eligible students are now vaccinated and zero campus outbreaks since schools opened mid-August. Packed house, masks optional in Tampa last night for the NFL season opener. Outdoors, sure, but listen to this. In Washington State, an outdoor mask mandate for events of 500 plus kicks in Monday. Why? The watershed festival at the Gorge led to more than 200 uh, infections from that one event. And it was outdoors. Deep in this Delta-driven surge, the country now averaging over 1 million new cases a week and over 10,000 dead a week. We're not going to eradicate SARS-CoV-2. Uh, I don't think that's a realistic option. It will become endemic. And basically, it's going to end uh, the day that we have kind of achieved enough level of population immunity that the virus essentially becomes a nuisance and no longer a threat. So the president's vaccine mandates call for workers to be fully vaccinated. So right now that means one dose of Johnson & Johnson or two of Moderna and Pfizer. But remember, those third Pfizer doses, the booster doses, could be rolling out in about 10 days or so. Then what? Well, today the CDC director said that they will be asking that question of their advisory committee, and that may be updated. Victor. Nick Watt for us in Los Angeles. Nick, thank you.